Hey everybody, this is GliderCat, and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. And as I often say, we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. So let's get to it. Let's check the food supply real quick. We have tons, so we can dismiss that error. Ship was fully repaired. Let's send the ship out. We'll kind of tackle these little warnings here on the far right here first. Uh, you are good. Do you have anything to take? Damaged cargo ship. We need steel before we can repair that. There's no further upgrades we can make at this time. So let's get on the map and go take it to some pirates somewhere. <clears throat> I don't think we need to bring back wood or anything. I think we're okay on that front. Let's go. Okay, two ships at the bed. Let's, uh, let's start taking it to the pirates here. Because uh, I think we're okay on supplies. Not enough workers. That's fine. We'll solve that. Tree Harvester can't reach destination. I think this one is waiting to be refueled. It is, and I'm not sure why our refueling trucks do not want to service that vehicle. We have, <laughs> we have our refueling station way, 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 way far away. It's possible that this thing has a range, but there are three. It allows any vehicle to refuel here. Okay, fine. Uh, what else do we have? Assigned trucks, automatically refuel, the nearby excavators and tree harvesters. Okay, so they're doing their thing. Let's see where these guys are going, just out of curiosity. Maybe one will make the trip. Nope, that's the excavator. We may have looked at these a little while ago. Here's... Guy, he's going to, I guess... I don't know why he's going back. He's got a full tank. All right. <clears throat> we'll have to just keep our fingers crossed on that one. Ooh, power shortage here at the well. Low power. What happened to our power? Is it a worker shortage? Yeah, worker shortage. We're going to have to... Um, let's pause everything going on at the cargo station here, cargo depot. That'll free up a bunch of works. Our workers get everything back online. Uh, we'll keep the offshore oil rig running, so we're in good shape there. Um, do we have the beacon on? We do. Less than three months before we get one. Okay, boiler needs a transport to output steam. Okay, let's pause this guy. We were in the process of setting up some coal power generation and getting off of diesel for all of our power. Uh, let's hide these warnings so we don't need to look at those. <clears throat> trucks say they're extremely busy. I'm not entirely sure why that is. A lot of them sitting idle here. These guys have tons of iron ore. Let's take a few off of this task. And as soon as they can expel or dump their iron ore, they'll go back into the, just the general fleet and help out. Dirt looks okay. Coal looks good. A lot of stuff is looking good. But man, there is so much to do. Our diesel looks okay right now. We've got several tanks full. What does this show over here? Yeah, 1.2 thousand units of diesel. We're in good shape there. Food's good. Bricks. Are bricks slow for real or what is that? Bricks. Yeah, how are bricks low? We have belts loaded with them, don't we? Yeah, I guess they're just not sitting in a storage container, but I think we, we have plenty of bricks, looks like to me. Uh, we did turn off a couple of our assemblers here making assemblies, making um, construction part ones. We're actually backed up on construction part ones. We might be able to pause another one of these, to tell you the truth, and free up a few more workers. Because we do keep, we do seem to keep coming up short on those. What's going on with you? These guys, I do want working. They're feeding the construction part two supply, and we're always going to be a little short on that, at least for the foreseeable future. All right, what do we want to do? Ships in battle. Let's go take a look at this. I think we're in pretty good shape. Unity up at the top left is slowly increasing. Not great, but a little bit. 
We got a bunch of research queued up, so I think we're okay on that front. Okay, we received a little bit of rubber. And it looks like the ship is coming home. No new nodes in that area. Hmm. Kind of surprised. Thought that that would open up some more map for us. Visit. This was already explored. Yeah, no, that's just a kind of a dead end. Uh, we'll keep exploring. Hopefully there's a bunch more nodes for us to go check out. So I guess, hmm, a couple things I want to do. One is I want to run a fuel line, maybe right off of this guy. Boom. And I want to go all the way up the island. It will tuck underneath this pipe, boom, and head up through here. And basically I want to fuel this. So this is kind of our supply for the fuel station. We can kick this back on. And we were using this kind of as, hmm, are you using this as emergency fuel as well? Hmm, hmm, hmm. How do we want to do that? Um, and I also want to fuel the rubber production so we're not using our local resources for that. Right now, this is all turned off and kind of backed up. That's fine. We're going to need more workers for all this stuff. We do have 23 workers. Let's actually turn this farm on for a little tiny bit. Yeah, let's start running a fuel pipe. And how do we want to go? get this thing out of here I guess yeah I can't go under this but I can maybe try and get next to it let's just start doing this is mainly because I just want to um, conserve the oil that we have on the island may not be necessary but it can't hurt and I think we can run could run underneath that line, I think, the whole way, maybe, maybe. Uh, I may pause while we do this. Let's, um, let's give it a shot. Come up through here. Boom. Can you get a little bit lower? Turn off the snap and go down one level. Okay, boom. And then let's see if we can stay tucked under here. I don't know if they're going to let me do the run that I want to do all the way over to where water is. We need to upgrade these pipes as well. So what are these costing us? Yeah, construction part two. So this is going to be a little costly. Okay, they're going to let us come right through here, which is great. Let's see. Oh, we have a dip here in this pipe. It's just going to cause us an issue. Or is it? It looks like it'll take right there. I'm going to drop if I can get it. Okay, cannot join to a ramp. Okay, we may have to fix that. Build that one, and then we're going to tear this one out. I'll hit play. This one we have to tear out and do... But we can't go past it because we have this guy in the way now. Hmm. Could try to go over and then slope down. Let's try that. Or try something. Hmm. Tempted to move this guy. You. Let's see if we can get by with just moving this guy over a bit. It's not going to want to connect to itself. is going to help with the deconstruction. Prioritize it. Truck, uh, truck 
Load says stable now. Unity is increasing, like I said, very, very slow. Try and prioritize this. Okay. Now I want this guy, this water. Um, how do I want it to do it? I think it needs to go past. Yeah, I need more of this pipe destroyed. Come on. Priority, priority. Uh, let's speed up time a bit. Somebody will come by and help, I hope. Trucks are now busy. Trying to avoid using Unity for this. Um, but no luck, we're gonna have to just use Unity. Click remove it. Go back to single speed. Basically I want this pipe to kind of go past and then we're gonna loop down so I can continue having um, our little fuel, our new fuel line run through here the way I want it to. A little tricky. Whoa, this needs to be upgraded, so I guess I'll just switch to these big pipes here. And we can connect that. But we're just going to draw the this one in like that. That'll do. That's going to let us, should allow us to keep running the fuel pipe the way we want under here. Uh, let's bring it up. Underneath, just like that. I think we can uh, unsnap. I think we can get by right through here. We're clever. Okay, and then this guy, let's look. Can go straight on through. In fact, we could bump him up. Let's stay low just in case, just in case we want to run water up there somehow later keep it this same elevation at least till we get out of this general area okay now if we want we can kind of start to ramp up a little bit take the extra height that'll give us a little more room to run belts and pipes underneath this thing Try to keep this straight. Okay, now the question is, should this be filling our little emergency reserves? I suppose it can do both, right? So, kind of want, hmm. I kind of want to have this, these three tanks shut off, like just absolutely saved off for reserves. And then I want to have this fuel coming in that's being processed from imported oil, which is semi-infinite. Have that feed the fuel station and have that feed our rubber production. That is kind of the objective. And then this fuel is just, we can hook it up later as needed if, we're, if we become desperate kind of thing. So I guess I could patch in straight here. Just wondering, if we're out of fuel and we want to tap into this, I need these, I need this line actually hooked up. Oh, you know what we can do? We can pause the pipeline, I think. Okay, let's do this. Let's connect this up first. Okay, transport to selected position was not found. It should go in. You should go in. Okay, that's good. Now what I want to do is pause this pipe. Boom. So save up this fuel. Let's actually shut down this guy. Boom. Shut down the distiller. Shut down these. Again, I'm just saving this as an emergency supply that we don't need to send the cargo ship out to get. That's the idea behind this little project. May not be totally necessary or urgent, Okay, next I'm thinking we can fill up these reserve tanks with the 
Oil from far away. The imported oil. Again, this could all be overkill. But it can't hurt. And it gives me something to build. So let's do this. Let's come down one. And dock with this guy. Okay, now the offshore oil can fill up our emergency reserve tanks. The offshore oil can fill this refueling station, so we could add a couple vehicles here. Let's take one vehicle off of this guy, so we'll have four trucks doing refueling for now. Maybe this one can reach our tree harvester, which has not been getting refueled. Worst case, this offshore oil can pretty much immediately fuel these diesel generators. The last little piece is getting that offshore fuel into this tank here. Can we find a way to do that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't know if I can sneak a pipe under here. Uh, we got a little nub here we can get rid of. Boom. I want to get oil into that. Um, yeah, and it's right next to the distiller, so. How could we do it? Got some pipe spaghetti here. I cannot navigate around. I can either I can connect up anywhere on this little pipe, basically, is what I want to do. Or into the tank directly would be fine. Uh, we might be able to just hop over this way and then find our way in. Let's try that. Might not look pretty. So you... Okay, mission accomplished. We're no longer using any of this oil. That's all saved off. These diesel generators or diesel producers are paused. We can kick these up in an emergency to get some rubber produced. This fuel tank for rubber will get filled up with the offshore oil production, and we should be good to go. And then these tanks will get finished up we have these turned off to no truck export. So these are the emergency reserves. We have this pipe pause, so we're just not gonna drain these tanks. If we want, we can run these diesel generators in a pinch off of the offshore fuel, and we can fuel our fuel station with the offshore generated fuel. That's awesome, perfect, perfect, perfect. In fact, we could kick on one of the rubber plants at this point. Let's unpause it. Workers are going to be a little bit of a issue. I'm missing anything. That's output. So that pipe's fine. And this one's going to get the fuel it needs. Through this one. Yeah, it's spinning up. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I like it. I like it. How are trucks doing? Stable. We have new refugees. Fine. A little bit of copper and some other things. That's all good. Burner is researched. We'll dismiss that. Burner is different than the flare. Let's see. What is the difference between those things? Oh, the burner is for trash. And it generates air pollution. Waste. Huh. We've been dumping the waste. I guess maybe it just saves from extra trucking on the island or something. You can just burn it rather than have to haul it to a dump site. We're almost out of dirt here. That's going to be an issue. All right. We're working on coal power. Guess we could pick that up. What else? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something urgent. Let's look at the ship. 
Okay, this guy should be fully repaired. He has some stock on hand. He'll have wood at the shipyard. That's good. We don't need to pick up wood. Let's take it to... Let's see. Let's see how we're doing here. This guy has plenty of storage left. In fact, we can run this down and save 12 workers. How's oil doing? A bunch of oil in that deposit, and this guy is slowly accruing oil. I'm tempted to actually kick this up. Let's do that. Upgrade the oil rig for 200. We only have 128. We just built some pipe. Let's go take it to the pirates. That's an easy one. We'll do that out of here. The other thing I wanted to do, oh, I keep forgetting. What is it? Comes to mind and then they lose it. Um, I think upgrading these water pipes. Yeah, let's do these two. This is going to cost construction part twos, but these need to be upgraded. So I'm going to grab the upgrade tool. Boom. And we're going to spend a bit to get these upgraded. These little side shoots probably don't need it as much as this main line. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you. And then the line coming in needs it. Mainly this big trunk. That one can go as well. And then this one... It's going to cost a fair amount of resource. This guy. Yep. And that one's already done, I think. Let's do the little nubs. I don't know how important these are, but we'll do them. And underneath here, this pipe is what? Yeah, that's our main guy. We have that upgraded. We should be good. The fuel line's running on, or the, oh, that's water going back out to the farms, I see. Yeah, that's going to help, I think. Let's keep going with these. So we'll make sure that the farms get the water they need. Okay, we are in battle. This top one, I believe, is water from the wells. So I want that to flow as, as well. <laughs> uh, oh, and we got to hook this guy back in. You need to hook back up. Glad we looked at this. You need to come back into... Which one? The top one, right? The fuel is the bottom. That's the water coming down for the farms. I believe. Oh man, I'm a little confused, but it's got to be this top one, right? That water comes around, and then this is where it can make its way back straight out to the farms without going through the storage array. Kind of remember now. 
can upgrade this little guy. That one is already marked for upgrade, I believe. So that should help our water situation a bit. And uh, it's worth doing because these guys are empty. This guy has been pumping. Oh, he I see. Yeah, we need this one constructed. Let's just quick deliver that. Okay, there we go. Now this guy should be able to pump. There we go. There we go. And then the reserve should be in great shape because we haven't pumped much water yet. We have 10,000 units of water in the reserve. Be nice to get these tanks filled up. We could always add more tanks here. It's raining now. This will fill up eventually too. If not from the rain gatherers or rain, rainwater harvesters, uh, the well will actually fill these up too. So we'll be in good shape on water. What's next? Uh, let's go look at the ship. We won. I'll take it. Did we come back home? We did. Let's see. Are we repaired? Can we go back out? Okay, waiting to repair. Uh, we could probably just go out, <laughs> but we'll wait till it's repaired. All right. What are these guys backed up with? Coal. How is that possible? Let's take some trucks off of here. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good. We're mainly burning through construction part twos. We have lots of workers now. We could maybe send this guy out. Do we have enough for this? Oh, here's one I want to do. Reduce the ship speed and save fuel. Reduce ship speed by 50% to reduce overall food fuel consumption by 30%. Let's do it. And then uh, let's send this guy out. It does tie up our workers for longer. So there's a little bit of a downside there. But uh, let's get these guys up and running. And then I think this guy can probably make the trip. There he goes. Then we can get this crude oil. Yeah, and our diesel's already... <laughs> we're already hurting on diesel. Oh, man. Right when I set up this... Our little backup generation and everything. I'm all proud of myself. And now we're actually just about out of diesel here, where we need it most. But that's all right. Hopefully that ship... Maybe we should do one fast trip. Let's do one fast trip. And get some more diesel, and then we can leave that guy run. We have nine workers left. Food's still looking good, I think. Although it has depleted a little bit, hasn't it? And we turned on another farm. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Feel like power. We should finish the power. Okay, we got a bunch of boilers. We decided that we're going to run off of coal. So let's get belts for this stuff. We need a bunch of water too, right? So let's see. How are we going to do this so it's easy? I guess I should have flipped these so that the coals were both on the inside. Uh, we're not going to change it. We're going to just make this work, I think. Let's come out. We want, actually, let's do this. Yeah, coal here. Can that not connect for real? Bear with me. Okay, that's coal going in, and then we need a similar situation over here. Coal for you, coal for you, and then a line to supply it, which can probably hug here. Okay, that's where they're going to get their coal. 
This guy comes out. And then um, we'll hook up coal storage here, some loose storage for coal. But let's see how we're going to route the water and the steam before we do that. Water, did we say we had some nearby? We do. That's awesome. So we can run pumps. We'll put collectors too. We may extend this collector array. Let's take a look. It's, oh, location explored. Okay, our ship has discovered a damaged cargo ship. Nice. Okay, rubber, copper, and more vehicle parts. We'll take them. Um, how do we repair that one? It's way out here, right? 240 iron. Let's do start repairs. Escape out of here. Let's get rid of this. We'll pause on this work for a second. Let's go check here. See if we have to do anything. Okay, start loading the ship for the damaged... Cargo ship, 240 iron. We have probably 180 of that at least already stored up, right? Where are we storing our iron? Where is that? Is that back in here? Yeah, check it out. So we have all the iron plates because we planned ahead for it. So that won't take long. While the ship's getting loaded up with cargo, let's come back here. And we were talking about water, and we want to scale up this whole water scene. I think what we want to do is expand this array. Expand this array of storage for water. Add some of the... add some collectors. Let's just get on it. Let's get on it. We know we need to upgrade pipes. Let's do that real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Can upgrade all these pipes. It's fine. Are you upgraded all, all the way down? Yep. And then let's rip this thing out and build some more room, more um, storage for water. Don't want to run out, come up short. Unity's looking okay. We're slowly, slowly accruing it. We are doing research and we do have the offshore sawmill and the offshore um, oil rig working. In fact, we've, we have extra workers at the moment. Let's take advantage of that. Uh, that oil rig is fully pumping. Let's kick this up while we have the extra workers. And then I'm going to turn off the beacon, actually. Wherever it is, where are you, beacon? Unless you're close. Yeah, let's pause that guy. Speed this up. Old storage. I got two more little nuggets to quick... Remove here. Okay, these are the ones going this way. Thought I had shift. We have a bunch of construction part level ones, so this will be fine. Should be fine. Pipe these together. set these so trucks don't try to get in, right? Uh, off, off. OK, 
Okay. And then these ones, it's fine if the trucks come. So we'll leave these set this way. And I'll just spot check a couple. Yep, set to water, set to water. That should all be good. Let's upgrades. Now let's expand our water collection. We've got rain coming. We have rain, I should say. Let's do some more harvesters down here. This is free water. We might as well take it. We don't need this land space right now. I need to leave room maybe for trucks to get through though. And then we could probably do even another one. Let's take a look at the overlay. Yeah, we have room. We have room. In fact, we could do two more. Let's do it. Start this row down here. Think. I go a whole full one down. Yeah, maybe. We'll do eight more rain collectors. Okay, looks good. Just what I want. <clears throat> now we got to hook this water supply up into this one with their big pipes. And let me just look at the overlay because we're going to have some wells here too. Yep, yep, yep. This is going to work nice. Pipe. In fact, we can start it way over here. Take it. Yeah, this is just free water. That's why I'm doing it. And these each have a little storage tank. So it may save us a little bit of power from the well and save our water resources underground a bit if we need to. We'll see. And then we're going to use this water for the electrolysis, which we're already doing. Come on, what, what's going on here? Boom, boom. Okay, that worked. Um, yeah, water for the electrolysis, which we already have going on. We may end up scaling that up. And then water for all the power generation we're doing over here, the coal power generation. I'm not sure how much that's going to end up using. A lot of construction part two, so we're going to burn through, but we should be okay. Okay, those guys are complaining about something. Valid connection. Okay, these take, yeah. Yep, that one's set to be upgraded. Those are all going to be upgraded. Okay, that is a ton of water collection. The output's over here. We're going to hook up to that and bring it over to our boilers here in a second. But before we do, I want to get a couple of wells going. Let's see. Could fit. Can we get, let's see how big those are. 
groundwater pumps. Maybe just right along here. About one there. And one over here, maybe. And then we'll have them go in different directions. So this guy can feed into this trunk. This guy can feed into that trunk. That water will make its way snake around and into this giant storage array. So we should be good. I don't know what to do about this uh, our tree harvester. It just is not getting refueled. Tree harvester cannot reach destination. Vehicle can't go under construction pipes, so you should be refilled. You don't need to do that. Hmm. Should we recover it? It enables you to click on a specific spot to manually order this vehicle to drive there. I see. Um. Let's see if we can fix our tree harvester. You can you go over here where you go? Okay, he's complaining about trees, but you shouldn't because there's a bunch of them marked. What I'm hoping happens is that he gets within range. I can drive him within range of a refueling truck. And then he'll be back happy chopping down the few remaining trees we have until we bust through over here. Man, that's taking a long time. We may want to stockpile more copper or scale up this operation and get more electronic parts. Yes, so we can burn through this copper hill. Oh, man. It's an interesting map. Tell you what, I think we'll end this episode here. What did we do? We totally shut off using our underground oil reserves. So we have 30,000 or 31,000 units of oil here in a reserve just available for, to us for emergency purposes. We have three fuel tanks of emergency diesel in case we need it. Currently, that's all sh that's shut off to the world. No one can use it. Trucks can't pick up from it. But in a pinch, we can turn that on and trucks can go use it at will, refuel, excavators, all that kind of stuff, fuel the cargo ship if we need to. We also hooked up our rubber production to use the offshore produced oil. So that is good, not draining our reserves. And then we can preserve this big giant rubber belt that we have. We didn't have to move rubber production. That's all good. In fact, it's backed up. We can pause this and save the workers. We did a tiny little bit on our coal power generation. We're getting there. And as part of that, to get the water for this new coal power installation, we significantly scaled up our water collection here. And then we have backups with the ground pumps, increased our water storage array. We could even build that out more. This is land we're not really using. In fact, these pipes haven't been built yet. Um, but that's... Man, that looks like it's got to be more than enough. <laughs> That's, I think, I think that might be more than enough. We'll stick with that for now. Um, in fact, they're starting to fill up already. And the water comes in here, and then it's going to go around here. That's why these are kind of starting to back up. And that's all rainwater, so not bad. It's free. This is a lot of land we could use, but... I'm thinking, or my plan is to bulldoze all of this. So it's at 10 high or something. I want to get it down to like um, 2 plus 2 above sea level when we're done. So that's why I'm not t building too much on here that's valuable. Hey, can somebody please refuel you? 
we may have to drive this guy. I'll figure out. I'll, I'll play around with the harvester in between episodes. But yeah, for analysis, Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on Captain of Industry. It's an awesome game. I love this game. We have so much to do. I want to get the coal power going. I'm a little nervous about not tapping into limestone and not being able to um, build the concrete bricks that we need. And then we also have steel production that's going to be needed. So those are the next two big things. But yeah, that's it for now. I will see you in the next episode.